Hey everyone, it's Green Eyed Guide here. Normally, I put my full podcast episodes from my Caffeine at Midnight podcast onto YouTube as a video file. However, my recent episode about the science of Killcliff is a bit long. So instead of putting the whole 30 minute audio file or, you know, wave file, uh, audio file on YouTube, I decided to just put an excerpt of that podcast episode here on YouTube. If you enjoy this excerpt, I encourage you to go listen to the whole thing wherever you get your podcast. That's the Caffeine at Midnight podcast. The episode title is called The Science Behind Kill Cliff Ignite. And like I said, today I just want to give you a little excerpt of that podcast episode. Specifically, I want to talk about the interesting ingredient combination in Kill Cliff Ignite. If you're not familiar with Kill Cliff Ignite, it looks like this. Now, in this drink, there's an interesting combination of niacin plus ginger plus carbonation. And that combination really helps give you perceived energy. Here's what I'm talking about. Energy drinks don't give you energy. I'm not crazy. I'm talking as a biochemist here. Energy drinks don't give you energy as in the physiological energy that fuels your body. Instead, energy drinks and anything with caffeine gives you perceived energy. That is how energized you feel. That's a subjective rating. Thus, because it's subjective, you can imagine quite a few things can alter that perception. One of those things is caffeine from green tea, such as the caffeine that's in Kill Cliff Ignite. Caffeine is caffeine is caffeine. It's going to affect you the same way regardless of where it's coming from. However, it's the other stuff, the food matrix that comes with the caffeine that can make you feel differently. This is the food matrix and Kill Cliff Ignite gets its caffeine from green tea extract. Since green tea extract contains caffeine and theanine, you won't feel a sharp caffeine jolt like you would from regular caffeine, from pure caffeine. Instead, the theanine helps you feel a jitterless alertness. So the downside of that is that you might not feel like the caffeine is really working. Enter ginger, niacin, and carbonated water. First, ginger has a little bit of a kick to it. It's just the taste of the ginger. Second, niacin doses over 30 milligrams can cause a mild warmth sensation called a niacin flush. This is completely safe. It's kind of like how your eyes water up when you're cutting onions. It's just your body's reaction to having more than 30 milligrams of niacin. That's the niacin flush. Third, carbonated water turns to carbonic acid in our mouth and it slightly irritates the stomach lining. Put all of those together, the ginger, the niacin, and the carbonated water, and you'll get this warm, tingly, bubbly sensation while you're drinking Kill Cliff Ignite. All of that together will help you feel like something is happening. It will help you feel the boost of the caffeine, even though that's really just perception. It's those three ingredients, not really the caffeine. In summary, Kill Cliff Ignite has a unique blend of ingredients that helps you feel that tangible benefits as well as the noticeable energy boost. So that's your excerpt, like I said, in the full episode on the Caffeine at Midnight podcast. We will hear a lot more about Kill Cliff Ignite, its other ingredients. I'll rate it in terms of the energy drink report card from red to yellow to green. We'll talk about can you drink Kill Cliff Ignite every day, and we'll compare Kill Cliff Ignite to a stereotypical energy drink. I hope you go listen to the full episode. I hope you enjoyed this excerpt, and I hope you have a powerful and productive week. Take care.